So today I want to talk about calf care, specifically electrolyte treatment, how to assess calves to see if they need an electrolyte treatment, what electrolytes are, and how we go about mixing electrolytes so that they're the proper concentration to give to calves. So electrolyte therapy can be used in a few dis different instances on a calf barn. Uh, for example, if calves are about to be transported or if they just got finished being transported, they can be used to supplement a calf's diet. They can also be used during dehydration events or if a, ca a calf is scouring. Uh, electrolytes are designed to replenish any lost body fluids. They're designed to restore the acid-base balance in the calf's body, and they also provide quick energy and nutrients for the animal. So when mixing electrolytes, it's very important to follow the label directions for each kind of electrolyte that's on the market today. I've pre-mixed some um, Hubbard Feeds Right Light electrolytes, and this here is one scoop of powder to two quarts of water. And this water is about 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about the temperature that a calf should be receiving any kind of liquid diet, whether it's an electrolyte or a milk replacer. Um, depending on the severity of dehydration or scours, electrolytes can be fed at different times during the day. Uh, lots of producers vow for feeding their electrolytes after their milk feeding, uh, never before the milk feeding because milk is the most important part of the liquid diet for calves. Uh, or we could feed electrolytes every 12 hours. So um, in between milk feedings, say if a milk feeding is in the morning and then in the evening, we could feed electrolytes in the middle of the afternoon and then again overnight if there was someone available to feed these electrolytes overnight. Um, if going through a transport event, we could give these, these electrolytes to calves before they get on the truck or after a transport event, as soon as they come off the truck, we can give them some electrolytes. So when offering electrolytes to calves, there's three different options that we can use to deliver the electrolytes to the animal. The first of those would be through a bucket. So get the calf standing and she can drink her electrolyte solution through a bucket as she would uh, her milk replacer if she was a bucket fed calf. The second option would be through a nipple bottle. So pouring the electrolyte solution in a nipple bottle and allowing her to suck until the solution is gone. Um, in some cases, uh, a calf will be too weak or too ill to be able to get up to drink from a bottle or will have no motivation to suck down the electrolytes from a nipple bottle. So in those cases, we have to use what's called an esophageal tube feeder. So this here is an esophageal tube feeder. You can see the solution is down below in this container. And then there's this tube here which will go into the esophagus of a dairy calf. And it's very important when feeding with an esophageal tube that the liquid does not go into the trachea and then into the lungs of the animal. And that truly is the most important part to consider uh, to keep the animal safe and to get it back to being a, a healthy calf. So once the calf is standing uh, or in an upright position, it can be sometimes be helpful to bring in an extra person to hold a calf still when tubing with an esophageal tuber. Uh, now for the purposes of this video, this is a healthy calf, so we are not going to be tubing her. She does not need electrolytes, nor will she take an esophageal tube very easily. Um, so for demonstration purposes, we're not going to tube, but uh, if she was an ill calf and wouldn't suck or drink out of a bottle, then the first thing we would do when tubing uh, electrolytes would be to pinch off the top of the tube just like this and this is to ensure that when the tube is going down the throat of the calf uh, nothing spills over into the mouth of the calf or into the trachea which would then end up in the lungs and could possibly drown the calf or cause an infection. So what I would do when feeding uh, an esophageal tube to a calf would be to slowly push it in the left side of the mouth. The esophagus of a calf is on the left side, their trachea is on the right side. So we want to make sure this green ball of the tube stays on the left side. Uh, once it's in the mouth, we can follow it down and we'll end up with what would look like this, but on the inside uh, of the calf's throat on the left side or of her esophagus. Uh, once this tube is in, we can feel this green ball here down uh, right on the chest here. If we were to pull this up and down, we'd be able to feel this green ball and that lets us know that yes, it's in fact in the esophagus, it's not in the trachea. And at that point we lift the bucket there or the bottle and the electrolytes will flow into the stomach of the animal.